നമസ്കാരം റീഡിംഗ് കെ സച്ചിദാനന്ദൻസ് ദ മെമ്മറി ഓഫ് ഹിറോഷിമ ഇൻ ട്വന്റി ട്വന്റി നോ ഫസ്റ്റ്ലി വി കം അക്രോസ് ദിസ് പോയം ഇൻ ഇക്കോസ്കേപ്സ് ദിസ് ടെക്സ്റ്റ് വിച്ച് ഡീൽസ് വിത്ത് എൻവയൺമെന്റ് സ്റ്റഡീസ് ആൻഡ് ഡിസാസ്റ്റർ മാനേജ്മെന്റ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഗ്രീൻ പോയം Uh, actually a lot of us into this discussions this problems human in ecological impacts of atom bombs nuclear disasters radioactive pollution and all that and uh, secondly this poem which was written in 1991 and uh, dedicated to the people of peringham um, the people's movement the anti nuclear uh, people's movement in peringham uh, this poem cannot be tied down to this particular time in history or this particular geographical area it transcends time and uh, space uh, because evoking the memory of uh, the first atom bomb that of hiroshima the first atom bomb used against humanity and evoking the memory of the first major nuclear disaster uh, you know it uh, makes us connect uh, with the whole world it's a universal poem and that is why such an is called an international poet is an activist poet um so uh, this uh, poem if you air drop this poem anywhere in the world uh, be it in hiroshima or fukushima or chernobyl or our own kudamkulam burkina uh, faso pattaya las vegas anywhere you know people will make an instant connect with the poem because as long as you have the memory of hiroshima and the memory of chernobyl you know alive in the collective consciousness of the people as long as you have the threat of atom bomb this real threat out there the threat of nuclear disasters you know um, all over the place the reading of this poem will remain ever significant and thirdly and most importantly we are reading this poem in 2020 and uh, 2020 this happens to be uh, you know the worst year imaginable for many of us uh, it's july now and a coronavirus is still out there going very strong and uh, you have all the bc problems uh, before corona problems uh, intact you know the global warming refuses to cool down you have uh, the economic scenario looking still very bleak and the horror of all horrors you have the nuclear doomsday clock uh, you know ticking just 100 seconds to midnight now this symbolic clock uh, because um uh, you know this is uh, this comes out from the atomic scientists actually this uh, the symbolic clock was uh, first featured in the bulletin of atomic scientists way back in 1940s when the first atom bomb project was uh, revealed um, unveiled before humanity hmm? so you just cannot ignore it right it is they say it's just 100 seconds to midnight in january 2020 they have set the clock uh, 100 seconds to midnight so uh you know in these circumstances against this backdrop this poem which involves the memory of hiroshima and which involves the memory of chernobyl and most importantly which actually seeks the empowerment and action on side of the people who is represented in the very opening lines as we grass we grass who no storm can break survivors of rabbits earthquakes revolution silent witnesses to murderous crimes we have the guts to stand up and say no more because we remember we remember hiroshima we remember chernobyl that is why we can stand up and say no more that is why the people of peringham said no more nuclear reactors so very opening lines actually reminds us of another poem written in another uh, period of time another era another uh, you know different part of the world carl sandburg the american poets i am the people the move the crowd now that poem also extols and celebrates the might of the people the power of the people you know in that poem it says i am the people the move the crowd the mass do you know all the great things in the world run through me it's me who you know, brings about revolutions changes i am the seed ground i am the prairie it is from me that the lincolns and napoleons come but i forget that is the antithesis you know the poem uh, this uh, phrase this line you know comes repeatedly uh, you know one after another you know, it comes again and again this is repeated that i forget i the people so mighty so powerful 
um, invincible in many ways i forget and that is why i cannot take charge of my destiny and i uh, keep on getting manipulated and exploited now here in this poem as against either people it's we grass here we may be grass but it's we we grass we remember and that is our power we remember that is why we say no more we remember hiroshima and that remembrance the first stanza of the poem is the evocation of hiroshima the second stanza is chernobyl and both these you know uh, this uh, revisiting hiroshima and chernobyl is done by vigras vigras is standing witness to hiroshima you this those few lines of poetry you know in way only the magic of poetry can transport us into the scene after the bomb after the explosion you stand there witness and witness in those few lines those stirs lines infused with the magic of powerful metaphors and evocative imagery you stand there and see burned kimonos dripping with breast milk and blood you see the tiny shoes of children you know fallen dead on the steps while rushing back to their home school shelter you see the darling dolls now lying charred on the floor you see the caps of dead songs the skirts of dead dances you see liquefied love you see molten eyes molten cloak molten language and the sweet grass who turned the earth into a revolving emerald in space guard from pain the feet of the playing children and the falling flowers we are witness we stand witness to the chernobyl you know we saw how death came very stealthily and silently unlike that of the hiroshima bomb it came very stealthily silently he came amidst the revelries of that midsummer night in april you know silent um, serpents you know slithering serpents of light of heat uh, venomous light silencing the crows and the um, uh, cats and you have mothers with burning babies in their hands running all around and you have uh, babies still borns uh, born on blanched beds like wheat prayers and you have tomato fields that suck human blood you have wheat fields wielding golden sword why is that so why because they are radioactive that is a tragedy of a nuclear disaster nuclear bomb it doesn't stop with the explosion nuclear disaster does not stop with the explosion it starts with the explosion and stays on you go to any site of a nuclear accident or a nuclear bomb in hiroshima nagasaki chernobyl or three miles you still have radioactivity very potent there the tomato fields the wheat fields you have that is why you have bitter honey black pollen black snow killing air killing shower killing moonlight so god forbid if there is a nuclear disaster huge nuclear disaster instead of the revolving emerald in space we will have a revol- revolving charcoal in space and that is why in the final stanza satyadan then calls out to the people to rise up to stand up and redeem and prevail so he calls out to the people uh, to the women uh, you know the mothers who are nursing lullabies and cucumbers in the soil uh, to the peasants who are rearing future's gold in paddy fields and grandchildren's dreams and he calls out to the untouchables uh, and the dispossessed and and he asks them to retrieve from the poisoned earth the untiring sun of your courageous action that smells of arachnid flowers you know ask them to save this earth from an atomic eclipse now it is 2020 well we have this doomsday clock still ticking huge nuclear power sitting atop uh, stockpiles of nuclear weapons and uh, talking war and belligerence well is there a grass out there a wee grass who remember who have memories as opposed to forgetting and who can stand up united 
and say no more when enough is enough, when pushed up too much against the walls. Overwhelming question to be pondered. Thank you.